Dr. Jacobs, I'm kind of freaking out. I tried to stop her, but Abigail was out on her first date with Courtney Van Tempest. She made me promise not to tell Dad and snuck out through the window. I told her it was a bad idea. I told her! May the fair moon, ruler of the night, keep her safe until the light. The feud between the Gorys and the Van Tempests started almost a hundred years ago when the Gorys lived in Massachusetts. Oh, is it like story time? Yes. Grab your popcorn and your goobers. Oh wait, you can't, because you're a ghost. That's like not cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you mistake me for a nice girl? No way, that would be Abigail. Whatever. Anyway, as I was saying... Are you giving me a soundtrack? Yeah, man, check it out. Your dad upgraded the device. I can control your iTunes now. Great. Just go with it, man. Just go with it. So about a hundred years ago, in Salem, Massachusetts, lived my great-great-grandfather Alfred Gorey and his best friend, Vincent Van Tempest. Alfred and Vincent had grown up together. Their families had been friends for ages, dating all the way back to the witch trials. Hold up. The Goreys were witches? Duh. Some of us still are. Anyway. Alfred and Vincent were best pals until they both fell in love with the same girl, Mildred Kendrick. Was she a total babe? Oh, totally. She was a theater actress and Alfred was a playwright, so of course they fell in love. Okay, okay, let me guess. This did not go well with Mr. Van Tempest. No. Yep, kinda know what that's like. So what happened? Well, um, Alfred asked Mildred to marry him and she said yes, but... The night before the wedding, Vincent showed up and he had gone completely crazy. Some people even said he had turned into a vampire, but nobody knows for sure. Wait, like a vampire vampire? Yeah, like the terrible ones, not the sparkly ones. So, what did he do? He kidnapped Mildred and the two were never seen or heard from again. Man, that sucks. Yeah, Alfred went crazy. He went everywhere looking for them, even accused the Van Tempests of hiding them, and it just got worse from there. Alfred picked a fight with Vincent's brother Thomas and accidentally killed him, and the two families declared a blood feud. So, did they ever find them? Nope. When Alfred finally gave up, he decided to get away from it all and come to California, and that's how the Gorys ended up here. But. The feud continues to this day. Every once in a while, a drunken Gory or Van Tempest will set out across the country to avenge their family and look for trouble. Just last year, my idiot Uncle Dewey got himself killed when he picked a fight with a Van Tempest. That blows. Eh, I didn't really care for him that much. Okay, so what do you think your dad would do if he found out about Abigail and Courtney? Have you seen my dad's torture chamber? Uh, no. He has an actual Iron Maiden down there. Okay, so speaking of medieval torture devices, what'd you think of that favor I asked you? That wasn't an awkward way to change the subject or anything. Well, you were talking about torture and like my soul is tortured. What did you want me to do? I don't know. Maybe not ever bring up Mary Rose ever again. Look, I don't know how to explain it. It's like you're watching a movie and you get to about 10 minutes before the end and then it starts over at the beginning over and over and over again and it's driving me crazy and i know it's just a movie and i know i'm just a ghost but i need to know how it ends i need to know what happens in those last 10 minutes so you want me to find this mary rose chick and give her the tape please look i feel like it's the only reason i'm still stuck here in this place I'm sorry, I like you, but I don't want to be stuck here anymore. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I do. So, will you help me? I mean, uh, I'll do what I can, I guess. Sweet. Whatever. So, torture chamber? Mm-hmm. Well, I hope for Courtney's sake, the date sucked. Sorry, that was the best date ever. I think I'm in love. Dr. Jacobs, Dr. Jacobs, I don't like going outside and meeting people. So I'm talking to you in my room.